It is July 4th, 2018. Happy Independence Day, everyone. I'm here in the city of Newburgh to check out this unbelievably crazy Rudge three-speed bike. So let's dig in, because there's a lot to look at. Right up front, here you got your Rudge head badge. This is probably a Rudge made by Raleigh, and we're gonna check the back in just a second to see what year it was really made. Here's your rear three-speed hub, which looks like a Sturmy Archer. And these are date coded, and normally I would just spin the hub until I could see the date. But this hub is frozen solid, it won't move, so I'm gonna have to flip the bike upside down. Give me a minute. Now that the bike's upside down, we can see that the hub is a three-speed, and it's dated July 1950. That's pretty old. With the bike upside down, we can also check out this dyno hub, which is an internal generator hub. They came on some of these old Raleigh's and Rudges. It's a pretty cool feature. Here's another view of the dyno hub, and it looks like it's missing its oiling cap. That's not a big deal though. With the bike back right side up, let's check out these custom made grips. Custom made of electrical tape. Not just on the left, but also on the right. Since this bike is a three-speed, it needs a shifter, and it's equipped with the Sturmy Archer three-speed speedy switch, and what looks like a pink pipe cleaner. Not sure why. In the front here, there is a light, but it's not exactly connected to the dyno hub. So, I don't know if it works, but probably not. Still, it's rectangular, it's amber, and it looks really, really cool. And out back, we have what looks to be about the same light. Just tilted at a little bit of an angle. And in case you're a stickler for originality, the new light is mounted on the old light bracket. So I guess that's a nice original touch. It would be easy for me to say that the front brake is original, but I don't think it is. And when you've seen enough of these bikes, you can tell that sometimes they swap in a cheaper brake from like a department store bike. And I'll show you the rear brake in a minute, and then you can see the difference. The rear brake is pretty cleverly hidden behind this chain lock, but when we look at it a little more closely, we can see that it's quite a bit different from the front brake. It's got a big slotted head screw as the pivot, and the way the brake spring wraps around the brake arm is completely different than in the front. So if I had to guess, I'd say the rear brake is original, the front is a replacement. Now, if you were gonna buy a bike like this, the first thing you wanna check is to see if the frame is bent, and it most certainly is. Like this curvature right here, that's not right, and this curvature right here, that's not right either. But at least you get a matching pair because it's pretty obvious that the fork is bent too, and quite significantly so. Now, down here on the down tube, it looks like they continued the electrical tape treatment that they used on the grips, and it doesn't look half bad. Here's the pump, which is held in place by a very customized pump bracket. This is a stainless steel pump bracket, also known as a hose clamp. Now, one of the most important things in cycling is that your pedals spin easily and freely. And uh, these spin just fine if you turn them hard enough by hand. Now, normally when I shoot photographs of a bike, I have the right crank arm basically parallel to the ground with like a little bit of an angle. But in this case, we can't turn the cranks at all because that back hub is all seized up. So it looks like the rudge hand is pointing down. Now on the back of the bike, we have this nice Pletcher rack. And you can't complain about these. They're ubiquitous for a reason. They work. The back tire is called a Michigan Safety Tread. And it's made in uh, Japan, which is where Michigan is, I think. The front tire is unbranded, but it's made in Taiwan, and it still has pretty good tread, but it's got a lot of cracks and weathering and age wear. And that theme continues back to the rear tire, which is basically blowing out the sidewalls. Although, surprisingly enough, both tires are still holding air. Now the rear fender has obviously been coated with black paint and white paint and then black paint again. And I guess they wanted to continue the aesthetic theme because they also painted the rear rim. And here's another better look at that Sturmy Archer hub. Now down here, 
you got the junction of the rear brake and the pletcher rack and the chain lock and some random wire. I don't know exactly what that does, but it's a nice touch. I'm sure by now you're dying of anticipation. So I won't make you wait any longer. Let's talk about this seat. This is a customized two-piece seat. They started with the original Brooks leather saddle, which is in kind of rough condition, and they upgraded it with a chair cushion. This is no ordinary chair cushion. It's like a corduroy chair cushion held in place with a zip tie. Now this chair cushion, it's old, it's moldy, it's faded. Let's take a look at it from the other side. See, from the driver's side view, you get a better idea of just how they secured the zip tie. In fact, it looks like they used two. And the mold spotting, and the ridge texture of this chair cushion. Plus, if we slide it forward, we can see that, yep, this is a Brooke saddle. Can't quite make out the number, but I wonder if you could put some leather treatment on that and get it back to nice and supple. Now you might think that I'm making fun of this bike, but I'm not. I love this bike. It's one of the coolest bikes I've ever found. I like everything that's wrong with it, and I also like the fact that nothing's right with it. Now, unfortunately, I can't keep this thing. No one's gonna buy it around here, so I'm gonna strip a few bits and pieces off of it, then it's going to the scrapyard. And within a couple of months, this beautiful 1950 Rudge is probably gonna be the front fender on 2019 Kia. And that's the way it goes. But I took some detailed photos, I shot this video, and so this Rudge, as messed up as it may be, will live on on the internet, hopefully forever. Thanks for watching.